My name is Penny, I'm a bachelor's registered nurse, and today I'm gonna bring you to work and show you a very small snippet of what it's like to work in my hospital job. I wake up at 5.43 a.m., the most random time ever, only because I like to squeeze as much sleep as possible. I brush my teeth, wash my face, rub my pits, fix my hair so I don't scare my patients into thinking that I'm Chucky. I also apply some lip balm because 12 hours is a very long time to have crusty lips. Next, I prepare my stuff. So first, I'm going to fill up my water bottle that is 40 ounces. It's enough water for my 12-hour shift. And I like this top specifically because I don't want my fingers touching the water spout directly because hospitals are nasty. I cook the night before my shift. I cook my breakfast, my dinner. I pack some snacks. You know, it's going to be 12 hours. That's a long time so I need all the fuel I can get. And lastly, I grab my nursing bag that is full of important doohickeys that I will show you shortly. Dang, I got hella piojos. I mean, no, I don't, no, I don't. I'm about to go to hospital, I shouldn't say that. I'm in the parking lot. We have to park super far away from all the patients and I had to learn the hard way because I got two tickets on my windshield before I even started this freaking job. I have this little backpack here with all the doohickeys that I use. I got my nursing pocket here. I got my badge, my stethoscope, and then I have my vocera, which is the walkie-talkie that we use. So I actually never put my stethoscope around my neck just because a patient can use that to assault you. So I've always gotten into the habit of putting it in my side pocket. My nursing pocket. Super important to have scissors. It has saved my butt many times. Then my vocera. So today I'm working 12 hour shift, like always, 6.30, but I clock out at 7.30 for my lunch breaks. Yeah, and I hope it's a good day. I also have this like ear saver strap just because I have 14 ear piercings. So it really helps to prevent the irritation of those, but I do have to wear goggles and we're ready to go. After clocking in, the very next destination at the beginning of every shift is the nurse's station, which is, you guessed it, a station for nurses. And this is where we pass off reports. I am about to receive report from the night nurse, and she's going to hand off the care of her patients to me, who will now become my patients for today. This is called a brain because it helps us organize all of the important information that we need to know about our patients. For example, this patient has a do not resuscitate order. They were admitted originally for a cerebrovascular accident or a stroke. They have diabetes, so they are on CBG checks for their blood sugar. They are at risk for aspiration and they also have a history of atrial fibrillation. Now that I've gotten report on my patients for today, the next stop is the med room. But first I have to get my bio vigil. It's this little doohickey that we wear on our chest and every time we wash our hands, we put it up to the sensor and it turns green to indicate good hand hygiene. This is a glucometer which measures glucose levels in the blood. So I'm going to be using this on my patients to have a CBG order from their physician. These are lancets which are tiny needles that are used to prick the fingers to get a drop of blood. And these are the glucometer strips which draws up the drop of blood into the glucometer machine to read the level of glucose in the patient's blood. Based on the patient's CBG, I draw up corrective insulin in accordance to the sliding scale that is ordered. Humalog is a short-acting insulin that is mostly used for corrective doses, and it's usually given before somebody eats. Along with morning CBG checks, I also do morning meds. This is called a Pixis machine, and this is where we keep all of the patient's medications. Here we have very commonly used medications. We have Miralax, lidocaine patches, nystatin powder, glucose tablets, Tylenol, and Lovenox injections that are blood thinners. The pills are stored in tiny cubicles that automatically open when prompted by the Pixis, and it goes in the order of medications that I selected. I also gather other supplies that I need, like this Foley catheter that the doctor ordered for one of the patients. So it is 10.50 and I'm on my first break. Today is actually going really well. I have a really good set of patients that are just really nice and cooperative. I had my first conference, which... <laughs> <laughs> was a little nerve-wracking but like I did and I try my best or whatever so but you know what's crazy 
Yesterday, I was like, I really don't want to get up at 5 and work a 12-hour shift. But when I'm here working, I love it. Like, I genuinely do love my job. <laughs> I love where I work. I like, I really enjoy my coworkers. I love the environment. It's been great. So what exactly do nurses do? Registered nurses coordinate care delivery by using the nursing process. According to the American Nurses Association, the nursing process consists of assessment, diagnosis, outcome identification, planning, implementation, and evaluation. We assess our patients, analyze the data to determine potential issues, identify expected outcomes for the patient, create a plan to attain the outcomes, implement the plan, and evaluate if our interventions are effective or if they need to be reassessed. Nurses use evidence-based practice, critical thinking, problem solving, and decision making to produce beneficial effects for the patient. I get asked a lot, how do I know if I want to be a nurse? And honestly, in my opinion, okay, first and foremost, if you want to be a nurse, be a nurse. That's already a good sign because that means you're willing to put in the work. But in general, I do think probably the most important thing when it comes to nursing is empathy. You know, we're taking care of people who are sick, who are really vulnerable. And, you know, sometimes they're going to cuss you out. Sometimes they might want to swing at you and... It all just comes from a place of vulnerability and suffering. I'm a huge busybody. I love to be busy. I love to be on my feet. I love to like exhaust myself physically because <laughs> it just makes me feel so good and productive. And maybe that's just like internalized generational trauma. But also another part of me genuinely does really just like being productive and you know, that, that dopamine hit of productivity, it's so good. It's really, really busy. I'm literally, as soon as I sit down to chart, like my vocera goes off or somebody calls me or something. Okay, literally, I'm trying to play like a nice case for you to be a nurse. And I'm just giving horrible examples. <laughs> I get asked, oh. This is one good example of the many alarms that exist in the hospital setting. So let's take this opportunity to talk about special alarms, specifically emergency codes. You know in movies when they're like, code blue, code blue. A code blue is when a person's heart or breathing has suddenly stopped. Code gray is when a person has become combative. Unfortunately, this is the most common code that I hear. I hear this called multiple times every single time I work. Code orange is when there has been a hazardous spill in the building and code silver is when a weapon has been pulled on somebody. No matter what code is called, you can be rest assured that there will always be staff on site that is trained and prepared for every emergency. Woo! 12 hours done. Technically 13 hours because I start at 6.30 and don't get off until 7.30. Today was actually a really, really good day. My number one favorite thing to do when I get home is to wash my hands real good and rub my face super hard. That is the stuff, my man, I'm telling you. After an entire day of not being able to touch my face, feels so damn good to touch my face. My hair is getting insanely long and really needs a haircut. So I actually have a haircut tomorrow morning. I cut my hair, yay. Anyways, um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that very small sneak peek into my hospital nursing job. Um, and if you have any questions or would like to see more content or have suggestions or whatever, let me know, tell me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and you are awesome, awesome. Thanks.